In physics, a phonon is a collective excitation in a periodic, elastic arrangement of atoms or molecules in condensed matter, like solids and some liquids. Often designated a quasi-particle, it represents an excited state in the quantum mechanical quantization of the modes of vibrations of elastic structures of interacting particles. Phonons play a major role in many of the physical properties of condensed matter, like thermal conductivity and electrical conductivity. The study of phonons is an important part of condensed matter physics. The concept of phonons was introduced in 1932 by Soviet physicist Igor Tam. The name phonon comes from the Greek word phone, phone which translates to sound or voice because long wavelength phonons give rise to sound. The name is based on the word photon. Shorter wavelength higher frequency phonons are responsible for the majority of the thermal capacity of solids. Topic. Definition A phonon is the quantum mechanical description of an elementary vibrational motion in which a lattice of atoms or molecules uniformly oscillates at a single frequency. In classical mechanics this designates a normal mode of vibration. Normal modes are important because any arbitrary lattice vibration can be considered to be a superposition of these elementary vibration modes cf. Fourier analysis. While normal modes are wave-like phenomena in classical mechanics, phonons have particle-like properties too, in a way related to the wave-particle duality of quantum mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Lattice dynamics The equations in this section do not use axioms of quantum mechanics but instead use relations for which there exists a direct correspondence in classical mechanics. For example, a rigid regular, crystalline not amorphous, lattice is composed of n particles. These particles may be atoms or molecules. n is a large number, say of the order of 1023, or on the order of Avogadro's number for a typical sample of a solid. Since the lattice is rigid, the atoms must be exerting forces on one another to keep each atom near its equilibrium position. These forces may be van der Waals forces, covalent bonds, electrostatic attractions, and others, all of which are ultimately due to the electric force. Magnetic and gravitational forces are generally negligible. The forces between each pair of atoms may be characterized by a potential energy function V that depends on the distance of separation of the atoms. The potential energy of the entire lattice is the sum of all pairwise potential energies multiplied by a factor of one half to avoid double counting. 1 2 I does not equal J V R I Minus R J display style frac one two sum underscore i n e q j v left r underscore i r underscore j right, where re is the position of the ith atom and v is the potential energy between two atoms. It is difficult to solve this many-body problem explicitly in either classical or quantum mechanics. In order to simplify the task, two important approximations are usually imposed. First, the sum is only performed over neighboring atoms. Although the electric forces in real solids extend to infinity, this approximation is still valid because the fields produced by distant atoms are effectively screened. Secondly, the potentials V are treated as harmonic potentials. This is permissible as long as the atoms remain close to their equilibrium positions. Formally, this is accomplished by Taylor expanding V about its equilibrium value to quadratic order, giving V proportional to the displacement x2 and the elastic force simply proportional to x. The error in ignoring higher order terms remains small if x remains close to the equilibrium position. The resulting lattice may be visualized as a system of balls connected by springs. The following figure shows a cubic lattice, which is a good model for many types of crystalline solid. Other lattices include a linear chain, which is a very simple lattice which we will shortly use for modeling phonons. For other common lattices, see crystal structure. The potential energy of the lattice may now be written as I J 
n n 1 2 m omega 2 r i minus r j 2 Display style sum underscore i j mathrm n n t f r a c one two m omega carrot two left r underscore i r underscore j right carrot two. Here omega is the natural frequency of the harmonic potentials, which are assumed to be the same since the lattice is regular. Re is the position coordinate of the ith atom, which we now measure from its equilibrium position. The sum over nearest neighbors is denoted n n. Topic. Lattice waves Due to the connections between atoms, the displacement of one or more atoms from their equilibrium positions gives rise to a set of vibration waves propagating through the lattice. One such wave is shown in the figure to the right. The amplitude of the wave is given by the displacements of the atoms from their equilibrium positions. The wavelength λ is marked. There is a minimum possible wavelength, given by twice the equilibrium separation are between atoms. Any wavelength shorter than this can be mapped onto a wavelength longer than 2A, due to the periodicity of the lattice. This can be thought as one consequence of Nyquist Shannon sampling theorem. The lattice points are viewed as the sampling points of a continuous wave. Not every possible lattice vibration has a well defined wavelength and frequency. However, the normal modes do possess well-defined wavelengths and frequencies. Topic: <inaudible> One-dimensional lattice. In order to simplify the analysis needed for a three-dimensional lattice of atoms, it is convenient to model a one-dimensional lattice or linear chain. This model is complex enough to display the salient features of phonons. Topic. Classical treatment The forces between the atoms are assumed to be linear and nearest neighbor, and they are represented by an elastic spring. Each atom is assumed to be a point particle and the nucleus and electrons move in step adiabatic approximation. N minus one N N plus one or O plus 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 O UN minus 1 UN UN plus 1 where N labels the NTH atom out of a total of N, A is the distance between atoms when the chain is in equilibrium, and UN the displacement of the NTH atom from its equilibrium position. If C is the elastic constant of the spring and M the mass of the atom, then the equation of motion of the NTH atom is minus 2 C U N plus C U N plus one plus U N minus one equals M D two U N D T two Display style minus two C U underscore N plus C left U underscore N plus one plus U underscore N one right equals M frac D carrot two U underscore N D T carrot two. This is a set of coupled equations. Since the solutions are expected to be oscillatory, new coordinates are defined by a discrete Fourier transform, in order to decouple them. Put U N equals N A K two Pi equals one N Q K E I K N A 
display style u underscore n equals sum underscore n a k two pi equals one carrot n q underscore k e carrot ikna. Here, Na corresponds and devolves to the continuous variable x of scalar field theory. The qk are known as the normal coordinates, continuum field modes phi k. Substitution into the equation of motion produces the following decoupled equations this requires a significant manipulation using the orthonormality and completeness relations of the discrete Fourier transform 2 c cos k a minus 1 q k equals m d 2 q k d t 2 display style 2 c cos car 1 q underscore k equals m frac d caret 2 q underscore k dt caret 2 these are the equations for harmonic oscillators which have the solution q k equals a k e i omega k t omega k equals 2 c m 1 minus cos k a Display style q underscore k equals a underscore k e carrot i omega underscore k t q quad omega underscore k equals sqrt frac two c m one cos car. Each normal coordinate q k represents an independent vibrational mode of the lattice with wave number k, which is known as a normal mode. The second equation for omega k is known as the dispersion relation between the angular frequency and the wave number. In the continuum limit, a zero, n infinity, with Na held fixed, un phi x, a scalar field, and omega k k a display style omega k propto car. This amounts to free scalar classical field theory. Topic: Quantum treatment. A one-dimensional quantum mechanical harmonic chain consists of n identical atoms. This is the simplest quantum mechanical model of a lattice that allows phonons to arise from it. The formalism for this model is readily generalizable to two and three dimensions. In some contrast to the previous section, the positions of the masses are not denoted by ui, but, instead, by x1, x2, as measured from their equilibrium positions i.e. she equals zero if particle i is at its equilibrium position, in two or more dimensions, the she are vector quantities. The Hamiltonian for this system is h equals i equals 1 n p I two two M plus one two M Omega two I J N N X I minus X J two Display style math call h equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n frac p underscore i carrot two two meters plus frac one two m omega carrot two sum underscore i j mathrm n n left x underscore i x underscore j right carrot two, where m is the mass of each atom, assuming it is equal for all, and she and pi are the position and momentum operators, respectively, for the ith atom, and the sum is made over the nearest neighbors n n. However, one expects that in a lattice there could also appear waves that behave like particles. It is customary to deal with waves in Fourier space, which uses normal modes of the wave vector as variables instead coordinates of particles. The number of normal modes is same as the number of particles. However, the Fourier space is very useful given the periodicity of the system. 
A set of n normal coordinates q k may be introduced, defined as the discrete Fourier transforms of the x k and n conjugate momenta pi k, defined as the Fourier transforms of the p k q k equals one n l e i k a l x l pi k equals one n l e minus i k a l p l. Display style begin aligned q underscore k and equals frac one s q r t n sum underscore l e caret a cal x underscore l pi underscore k and equals Frac one SQRT N sum underscore L E carrot a carl P underscore L end aligned the quantity knots turns out to be the wave number of the phonon, i.e. two pi divided by the wavelength. This choice retains the desired commutation relations in either real space or wave vector space X L P M equals I delta L M Q K Pi K equals one N L M E I K A L E minus I K A M X L P M equals I N L E I A L K minus K equals I delta K K Q K Q K equals pi k pi k equals zero display style begin aligned left x underscore l p underscore m right and equals i h b a r delta underscore l m left q underscore k pi underscore k right and equals frac one n sum underscore l m e carrot a carl e carrot m left x underscore l p underscore m right and equals frac i h b a r n sum underscore l e carrot i a l left K K right equals I H B A R delta underscore K K left Q underscore K Q underscore K right and equals left pi underscore K pi underscore K right equals zero end aligned from the general result L X L X L plus M equals one N K K Q K Q K L E I A L K plus K E I A M K equals K Q K Q minus K E I A M K L P L two equals K Pi K pi minus K display style begin aligned sum underscore L x underscore L x underscore L plus M and equals frac one N sum underscore K K Q underscore K Q underscore K sum underscore L E carrot I A L left K plus K right E carrot I A M K equals sum underscore K Q underscore K Q underscore K E carrot I A M K sum underscore L P underscore L carrot two and equals sum underscore K pi underscore K pi underscore K end aligned the potential energy term is one two meters omega two J x J minus x J plus one two equals one two meters omega two K Q K Q minus K two minus E I K A minus E minus I K A equals one two K M Omega K two Q K Q minus K 
Display style T F R A C one two M Omega carrot two sum underscore J left x underscore J x underscore J plus one right carrot two equals T F R A C one two M Omega carrot two sum underscore K Q underscore K Q underscore K two E carrot eka E carrot eka equals T F R A C one two sum underscore K M Omega underscore K carrot two Q underscore K Q underscore K where Omega K equals two Omega two one minus cos K A equals two Omega sin K A two Display style Omega underscore K equals SQRT two Omega carrot two left one cos car right equals two Omega left sin frac car two right. The Hamiltonian may be written in wave vector space as H equals one two M K Pi K Pi minus K plus M two Omega K two Q K Q minus K Display style mathcal H equals frac one two meters sum underscore K left pi underscore K pi underscore K plus M carrot two Omega underscore K carrot two Q underscore K Q underscore K right. The couplings between the position variables have been transformed away. If the Q and pi were Hermitian, which they are not, the transformed Hamiltonian would describe n uncoupled harmonic oscillators. The form of the quantization depends on the choice of boundary conditions. For simplicity, periodic boundary conditions are imposed, defining the n plus one th atom as equivalent to the first atom. Physically, this corresponds to joining the chain at its ends. The resulting quantization is k equals k n equals two pi n. N A four N equals zero plus or minus one plus or minus two plus or minus N two Display style k equals k underscore n equals frac two pi n na quad m box for n equals zero p m one p m two l dots p m frac n two. The upper bound to n comes from the minimum wavelength, which is twice the lattice spacing a, as discussed above. The harmonic oscillator eigenvalues or energy levels for the mode omega k are e n equals one. Two plus n omega k n equals zero one two three. Display style e underscore n equals left t f r a c one two plus n right h b a r omega underscore k q quad n equals zero one two three l dots the levels are evenly spaced at 1 2 omega 3 2 omega 5 2 omega display style tfrac 1 2 hbar omega tfrac 3 2 hbar omega tfrac 5 2 hbar omega cdots where one half omega is the zero point energy of a quantum harmonic oscillator. An exact amount of energy omega must be supplied to the harmonic oscillator lattice to push it to the next energy level. In comparison to the photon case when the electromagnetic field is quantized, the quantum of vibrational energy is called a phonon. All quantum systems show wave like and particle like properties simultaneously.
The particle-like properties of the phonon are best understood using the methods of second quantization and operator techniques described later. Topic: <laughs> Three-dimensional lattice. This may be generalized to a three-dimensional lattice. The wave number k is replaced by a three-dimensional wave vector k. Furthermore, each k is now associated with three normal coordinates. The new indices s equals 1, 2, 3 label the polarization of the phonons. In the one-dimensional model, the atoms were restricted to moving along the line, so the phonons corresponded to longitudinal waves. In three dimensions, vibration is not restricted to the direction of propagation, and can also occur in the perpendicular planes, like transverse waves. This gives rise to the additional normal coordinates, which, as the form of the Hamiltonian indicates, we may view as independent species of phonons. Dispersion relation Equals. For a one-dimensional alternating array of two types of ion or atom of mass m1, m2 repeated periodically at a distance a, connected by springs of spring constant k, two modes of vibration result omega plus or minus 2 equals k 1 m 1 plus 1 m 2 plus or minus k 1 m 1 plus 1 m 2 2 minus 4 sin 2 k a 2 m 1 m 2 display style omega underscore pm carrot 2 equals k left frac 1 m underscore 1 plus frac 1 m underscore 2 right pm k sqrt left frac 1 m underscore 1 plus frac 1 m underscore 2 right carrot 2 frac 4 sin carrot 2 frac car 2 m underscore 1 m underscore 2 where k is the wave vector of the vibration related to its wavelength by K equals two pi lambda. Display style K equals frac two pi lambda. The connection between frequency and wave vector omega equals omega K is known as a dispersion relation. The plus sign results in the so-called optical mode, and the minus sign to the acoustic mode. In the optical mode two adjacent different atoms move against each other, while in the acoustic mode they move together. The speed of propagation of an acoustic phonon, which is also the speed of sound in the lattice, is given by the slope of the acoustic dispersion relation, omega k, k c group velocity, at low values of k i.e. long wavelengths, the dispersion relation is almost linear, and the speed of sound is approximately omega a, independent of the phonon frequency. As a result, packets of phonons with different but long wavelengths can propagate for large distances across the lattice without breaking apart. This is the reason that sound propagates through solids without significant distortion. This behavior fails at large values of k, i.e. short wavelengths, due to the microscopic details of the lattice. For a crystal that has at least two atoms in its primitive cell, the dispersion relations exhibit two types of phonons, namely, optical and acoustic modes corresponding to the upper blue and lower red curve in the diagram, respectively. The vertical axis is the energy or frequency of phonon, while the horizontal axis is the wave vector. The boundaries at minus pi, r and pi, r are those of the first Brillouin zone. A crystal with n two different atoms in the primitive cell exhibits three acoustic modes, one longitudinal acoustic mode and two transverse acoustic modes. The number of optical modes is 3n3. The lower figure shows the dispersion relations for several phonon modes in gallium-3 arsenide as a function of wavervector k in the principal directions of its Brillouin zone. Many phonon dispersion curves have been measured by neutron scattering. 
The physics of sound in fluids differs from the physics of sound in solids, although both are density waves. Sound waves in fluids only have longitudinal components, whereas sound waves in solids have longitudinal and transverse components. This is because fluids can't support shear stresses but see viscoelastic fluids, which only apply to high frequencies. Topic. Interpretation of phonons using second quantization techniques In fact, the above-derived Hamiltonian looks like the classical Hamiltonian function, but if it is interpreted as an operator, then it describes a quantum field theory of non-interacting bosons. The energy spectrum of this Hamiltonian is easily obtained by the method of ladder operators, similar to the quantum harmonic oscillator problem. We introduce a set of ladder operators defined by B K equals one two Q K L K plus I Pi minus K L K Q K equals L K one two B K plus B minus K B K equals one two Q minus K L K minus I pi k l k pi k equals l k i two b k minus b minus k l k equals m omega k display style begin aligned at two b underscore k and equals frac one s QRT two left frac Q underscore K L underscore K plus I frac Pi underscore K frac H B A R L underscore K right and quad Q underscore K and equals L underscore K frac one S Q R T two left B underscore K carrot dagger plus B underscore K right B underscore K carrot dagger and equals frac one S Q R T two left frac Q underscore K L underscore K I frac Pi underscore K frac H B A R L underscore K right and quad pi underscore K and equals frac H B A R L underscore K frac I S Q R T two left B underscore K carrot dagger B underscore K right L underscore K and equals S Q R T frac H B A R M Omega underscore K end aligned at by direct insertion on the Hamiltonian, it is readily verified that H equals K Omega K B K B K plus Plus one two B K B K equals delta K K B K B K equals B K B K equals zero Display style math call H equals sum underscore K H B A R Omega underscore K left B underscore K carrot dagger B underscore K plus T F R A C one two right quad left B underscore K B underscore K carrot dagger right equals delta underscore K K quad big B underscore K B underscore K big equals left B underscore K carrot dagger B underscore K carrot dagger right equals equals zero. As with the quantum harmonic oscillator, one can show that BK and BK respectively create and destroy one excitation of energy omega K. These excitations are phonons. Two important properties of phonons may be deduced. Firstly, phonons are bosons, since any number of identical excitations can be created by repeated application of the creation operator BK. Secondly, each phonon is a collective mode caused by the motion of every atom in the lattice. This may be seen from the fact that the ladder operators contain sums over the position and momentum operators of every atom. It is not a priori obvious that these excitations generated by the B operators are literally waves of lattice displacement, but one may convince oneself of this by calculating the position-position correlation function. Let K denote a state with a single quantum of mode K excited, i.e. K 
equals b k 0 display style k wrangle equals b underscore k caret dagger 0 wrangle one can show that for any two atoms j and l k x j t x l 0 k equals n m omega k cos k j minus l a minus omega k t plus 0 x j t x l 0 0 Display style Langle K x underscore J T x underscore L zero K Wrangle equals Frac H B A R nanometer Omega underscore K cos big K J L A Omega underscore K T big plus Langle zero x underscore J T x underscore L zero zero Wrangle which has the form of a lattice wave with frequency Omega K and wave number K. In three dimensions, the Hamiltonian has the form H equals K S equals one three Omega K S B K S B K S plus one two Display style math call H equals sum underscore K sum underscore S equals one carrot three H B A R Omega underscore K S left B underscore K S carrot dagger B underscore K S plus T F R A C one two right. Topic Acoustic and optical phonons. Solids with more than one atom in the smallest unit cell, exhibit two types of phonons, acoustic phonons and optical phonons. Acoustic phonons are coherent movements of atoms of the lattice out of their equilibrium positions. If the displacement is in the direction of propagation, then in some areas the atoms will be closer, in others farther apart, as in a sound wave in air hence the name acoustic. Displacement perpendicular to the propagation direction is comparable to waves on a string. If the wavelength of acoustic phonons goes to infinity, this corresponds to a simple displacement of the whole crystal, and this costs zero deformation energy. Acoustic phonons exhibit a linear relationship between frequency and phonon wavervector for long wavelengths. The frequencies of acoustic phonons tend to zero with longer wavelength. Longitudinal and transverse acoustic phonons are often abbreviated as LA and TAR phonons, respectively. Optical phonons are out-of-phase movements of the atoms in the lattice, one atom moving to the left, and its neighbor to the right. This occurs if the lattice basis consists of two or more atoms. They are called optical because in ionic crystals, like sodium chloride, they are excited by infrared radiation. The electric field of the light will move every positive sodium ion in the direction of the field, and every negative chloride ion in the other direction, sending the crystal vibrating. Optical phonons have a non-zero frequency at the Brillouin zone center and show no dispersion near that long wavelength limit. This is because they correspond to a mode of vibration where positive and negative ions at adjacent lattice sites swing against each other, creating a time-varying electrical dipole moment. Optical phonons that interact in this way with light are called infrared active. Optical phonons that are Raman active can also interact indirectly with light, through Raman scattering. Optical phonons are often abbreviated as low and to phonons, for the longitudinal and transverse modes respectively. The splitting between low and to frequencies is often described accurately by the Lydane Sachs Teller relation. 
When measuring optical phonon energy by experiment, optical phonon frequencies are sometimes given in spectroscopic wavenumber notation, where the symbol ω represents ordinary frequency, not angular frequency, and is expressed in units of cm-1. The value is obtained by dividing the frequency by the speed of light in vacuum. In other words, the frequency in cm-1 units corresponds to the inverse of the wavelength of a photon in vacuum, that has the same frequency as the measured phonon. The cm-1 is a unit of energy used frequently in the dispersion relations of both acoustic and optical phonons, see units of energy for more details and uses. Crystal momentum. By analogy to photons and matter waves, phonons have been treated with wavervector k as though it has a momentum heek, however, this is not strictly correct, because heek is not actually a physical momentum, it is called the crystal momentum or pseudomomentum. This is because k is only determined up to addition of constant vectors the reciprocal lattice vectors and integer multiples thereof. For example, in the one-dimensional model, the normal coordinates q and π are defined so that q K equals D E F Q K plus K Pi K equals D E F Pi K plus K Display style q underscore k stackra mathrm def equals q underscore k plus k quad pi underscore k stackra mathrm def equals pi underscore k plus k, where k equals two n pi a. Display style k equals frac two n pi a for any integer n. A phonon with wave number k is thus equivalent to an infinite family of phonons with wave numbers k plus or minus 2 pi a, k plus or minus 4 pi a, and so forth. Physically, the reciprocal lattice vectors act as additional chunks of momentum which the lattice can impart to the phonon. Block electrons obey a similar set of restrictions. It is usually convenient to consider phonon wavervectors k which have the smallest magnitude k in their family. The set of all such wavervectors defines the first Brillouin zone. Additional Brillouin zones may be defined as copies of the first zone, shifted by some reciprocal lattice vector. <laughs> Thermodynamics The thermodynamic properties of a solid are directly related to its phonon structure. The entire set of all possible phonons that are described by the above phonon dispersion relations combine in what is known as the phonon density of states which determines the heat capacity of a crystal. At absolute zero temperature, a crystal lattice lies in its ground state, and contains no phonons. A lattice at a non-zero temperature has an energy that is not constant, but fluctuates randomly about some mean value. These energy fluctuations are caused by random lattice vibrations, which can be viewed as a gas of phonons. The random motion of the atoms in the lattice is what we usually think of as heat, because these phonons are generated by the temperature of the lattice. They are sometimes designated thermal phonons. Unlike the atoms which make up an ordinary gas, thermal phonons can be created and destroyed by random energy fluctuations. In the language of statistical mechanics this means that the chemical potential for adding a phonon is zero. This behavior is an extension of the harmonic potential, mentioned earlier, into the anharmonic regime. The behavior of thermal phonons is similar to the photon gas produced by an electromagnetic cavity, wherein photons may be emitted or absorbed by the cavity walls. This similarity is not coincidental, for it turns out that the electromagnetic field behaves like a set of harmonic oscillators, see black body radiation. Both gases obey the Bose Einstein statistics. In thermal equilibrium and within the harmonic regime, the probability of finding phonons or photons in a given state with a given angular frequency is n omega k s equals 
1 exp omega k s k b t minus 1 display style n left omega underscore k s right equals frac 1 exp left d frac h b a r omega underscore k s k underscore mathrm b t right minus 1 where omega k s is the frequency of the phonons or photons in the state k b is Boltzmann's constant and t is the temperature. Topic. Heat flow in nanometer-wide gaps The idea of quantum tunneling applied to phonons produces the idea of phonon tunneling, where across nanometer-wide gaps, heat can transfer between materials from phonon that «tunnel» between the two materials. The type of heat transfer works between distances too large for conduction to occur but too small for radiation to occur. Topic. Operator formalism The phonon Hamiltonian is given by H equals 1 2 alpha P alpha 2 plus omega alpha 2 Q alpha 2 Minus one two Omega Alpha Display style math call H equals TFRAC one two sum underscore alpha left P underscore alpha carrot two plus Omega underscore alpha carrot two Q underscore alpha carrot two TFRAC one two HBAR Omega underscore alpha right In terms of the operators, these are given by H equals alpha omega alpha a alpha a alpha display style math call H equals sum underscore alpha H B A R omega underscore alpha a underscore alpha carrot dagger a underscore alpha here, in expressing the Hamiltonian in operator formalism, we have not taken into account the one-half omega q term, since if we take an infinite lattice or, for that matter a continuum, the one-half omega q terms will add up giving an infinity. Hence, it is renormalized by putting the factor of one-half omega q to zero arguing that the difference in energy is what we measure and not the absolute value of it. Hence, the one half omega q factor is absent in the operator formalized expression for the Hamiltonian. The ground state, also called the vacuum state, is the state composed of no phonons. Hence, the energy of the ground state is zero. When a system is in state n1, n2, n3, we say there are n alpha phonons of type alpha. The n alpha are called the occupation number of the phonons. Energy of a single phonon of type alpha being omega q, the total energy of a general phonon system is given by n1 omega 1 plus n2 omega 2 plus. In other words, the phonons are non-interacting. The action of creation and annihilation operators are given by a alpha n 1 n alpha minus 1 n alpha n alpha plus 1 equals n alpha plus 1 n 1 n alpha minus 1 n alpha plus 1 n alpha Plus one display style a underscore alpha carrot dagger big n underscore one l dots n underscore alpha minus one n underscore alpha n underscore alpha plus one l dots big wrangle equals sqrt n underscore alpha plus one big n underscore one l dots n underscore alpha minus one n underscore alp 
ha plus one n underscore alpha plus one l dots big wrangle and a alpha n one n alpha minus one n alpha n alpha plus one equals n alpha n one n alpha minus one n alpha minus one n alpha plus one Display style are underscore alpha big and underscore one L dots and underscore alpha minus one and underscore alpha and underscore alpha plus one L dots big wrangle equals SQRT and underscore alpha big and underscore one L dots and underscore alpha minus one and underscore alpha minus one and underscore alpha plus one L dots big wrangle i.e. a alpha creates a phonon of type alpha while a alpha annihilates. Hence, they are respectively the creation and annihilation operator for phonons. Analogous to the quantum harmonic oscillator case, we can define particle number operator as n equals alpha a alpha a alpha. Display style n equals sum underscore alpha a underscore alpha caret dagger a underscore alpha. The number operator commutes with a string of products of the creation and annihilation operators if the number of a are equal to number of a. Phonons are bosons, since alpha, beta equals beta, alpha, i.e., they are symmetric under exchange. Equals. Topic: Nonlinearity. Equals. As well as photons, phonons can interact via parametric down conversion and form squeezed coherent states. Equals. Topic: Predicted properties. Equals. Even though phonons are often used as a quasi-particle, some popular research has shown that phonons and rotons may indeed have some kind of mass and be affected by gravity as standard particles are. In particular, phonons are predicted to have a kind of negative mass and negative gravity. This can be shown in how phonons are known to travel faster in denser materials. Because the part of a material pointing towards a gravitational source is closer to the object, it becomes denser on that end. From this, it is predicted that phonons would deflect away as it detects the difference in densities, exhibiting the qualities of a negative gravitational field. Although the effect would be too small to measure, it is possible that future equipment could lead to successful results. Phonons have also been predicted play a key role in superconductivity in materials and the prediction of superconductive compounds. See also